Hi, this is Daniel, and I'm going electric. Greetings from Davis, California, just outside of Sacramento on this smoky, smoky overcast day uh, along Interstate 80. Uh, as you may have seen in the previous episode, today is delivery day, and um, never made a video like this before, but I was perusing the internet looking for videos about delivery day and a whole lot of things for kind of novice electric car owners and for people who are interested in Teslas or interested in electrics but really don't know much about it and aren't the early adopters but do want to jump on board cars and trucks all around um, so I decided to drive out from Idaho pick up the car uh, rather than roll it into another delivery batch in <clears throat> the end of October or November and so here it is uh, the model that I got was a Model Y blue 20 inch induction wheels, white interior. Really excited about it. Um, I'll be driving into San Francisco, Wilcoma for the um, delivery center and then pay cash for the car. I'm really lucky. Uh, I haven't had a car for 27 years, so I've been saving for a long time. Uh, so I'm in the fortunate position to be able to pay cash so I don't have to deal with financing. Last time I looked, uh, Tesla financing was around 2.49%, which I didn't think it was that great. I'd rather spend zero percent on interest to be honest um, and then I also decided to go with the Tesla insurance I was getting quotes from a number of other companies and Tesla insurance really did come in around 25 to 30 percent under a lot of the competitors so I'm gonna go with them and hopefully that works out now you may have just heard a little bit of a ruckus I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm carrying with me uh, also from the previous episode um, I mentioned that I'm doing a lot of traveling these days, cameras over on the left side of my phone, not the right side. Doing a lot of traveling, so it's going to be interesting having a electric car. I got to figure out charging. I got to figure out how efficient the car is. I got to figure out like if I put in a destination in the map and then decide to go somewhere interesting, like some side road or whatever, am I going to be stranded? So it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of learning. Uh, I don't again don't know much about wattage and amps and all the rest of it. I mean, I can read it. I'm, I'm somewhat literate and. I like technology, but I can't say I've ever needed to know about this stuff. So I'll be learning about charge stations and voltages and all the other good stuff. And um, it'll be fun. So I'm going to drive into San Francisco right now, um, pick up the car at 12. And uh, also because I've been traveling, I have a whole lot of stuff that I've been traveling with. So I'm going to have to get everything from this Impala that I've been driving around for the last month crammed into my new Tesla Y. Hopefully it works. Looks like there's a lot of storage uh, in the Tesla in the front and then that sort of back trunk area and then um, underneath the lift gate. So I'll uh, get back to you when I get down to Colma and super excited to share the delivery day experience with you. Bye. Just got out of Best Buy. I'm 10 minutes away from picking up my car um, here in Colma and swung by to pick up one of these. I don't know if this is gonna work. I mean, it seemed remotely um, within spec of the things I read online, but uh, we'll see. If it doesn't work, I'll just have to get some other one. It's for the Sentry mode and um, hope it works. It was like 90 bucks, 128 gigabytes. Uh, I've had this fear my whole life that if I ever bought a new car, and again, it's been like 27 years, that I would buy the car, drive it off a lot and get T-boned as soon as I pulled out. Let's hope that doesn't happen today. Let's really hope. I'd like to have a nice car for at least a full day. Anyways, uh, time to go pick up my car. I'm getting really excited. Um, see you in a few. Bye. All right, I'm here at the Colma Delivery Center. And there's a whole lot of Teslas around here. So I don't know which one's mine. Uh, I've got my trusty mask here, so I'm gonna go inside and um, take a look. I'm nine minutes early. There's a blue one right there without a white interior. So that's um, yeah, kind of really giddy inside. Super excited. Am I going to become a Tesla freak? Probably. Um, am I okay with that? Yeah. Um, super excited. And again, to have a car after 27 years, I'm, I'm probably more freaked out by that than anything else, I gotta say comes with a lot of responsibilities that I've been able to avoid the last nearly three decades. Um, all right, I'm gonna let him know that I'm here. I'm gonna give him a wad of cash. 
Then I gotta park the two cars side by side and transfer everything from one car to the other and then return my car up to San Francisco and then come back and then take possession of the car and drive away. So it's actually gonna be a couple hours before I get in this thing and get on with my new test Alexa. All right, uh, see you in a few. There it is. Don't crash. <laughs> Don't crash my new car. There it is. Guess I'll get inside. I just paid for my car. I can't believe I just paid for a new car. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they have some app and you just click through your Tesla account and click on the pay here and they take you to something, you log into your bank, you click a button and next thing you know, you're broke. <laughs> so it's that easy. Uh, waiting for the salesman to go and say he had a couple things to take care of. He'll be right back out. And then I'm going to move the vehicles and I got to get my travel junk from my Chevy Impala car rental. Um, into this one so we're going to relocate the car so we've got two spots side by side and then i'll do a quick transfer and drop off the car rental come back and drive my new car so excited Spending a little bit of time at the dealership still, going through this handy checklist. I think the only thing I've seen so far is that it appears the frunk, um, or the hood, seems to me a little misaligned when I unlocked it and then tried to close it again. Um, I mean, I don't want to like slam it closed, but um, I'll keep my eye on that and see if it presents any problems. Um, compared it to a couple of the Tesla's tar parked right next to me, it just seemed a little bit up. So I don't know if I'm not closing it hard enough. I just don't want to get too crazy on it. So we'll see where that goes. Other than that, the car seems to be really in great shape. I'm super impressed. Build quality looks excellent. Um, I don't have any malfunctioning gates or uh, anything. Panels seem to be aligned really well. No scratches, no discolorations or anything around the car. Um, I'll give you a quick view of the car um, and uh, then I'll get transferring all my stuff from my car rental to this new one and then turn in the car rental. So here is the frunk. Looks normal. Now I gotta get this and this into there. So I'm gonna do a little quick switcheroo and I'll come back when it's done. See if I can get this little weight bench in the back of the Tesla. Now, you would think that having a weight bench, I would be super buff and in great shape. That would not be true, but I do use it, keeps me busy, and uh, kind of keeps me a little active despite driving a lot. So let's see if it fits in. Sweet, it fits. I have to kind of lift it up and over the wheel well and then kind of angle it in, but it fits perfect. Thanks, Tesla. And now I've got the back packed up. Seems to carry everything that the trunk did in my car rental. Loading up the back now, and it's kind of cool that you don't have that bump in the middle. That'll give me some extra space. Ah, Tesla, I gotta say, just finished packing, well, unpacking everything from the car rental, packing it into the Tesla. And I gotta say, I did not think at all that I would be able to take everything from that Chevy Impala and that big fat trunk that I upgraded for and paid extra for. I did not think for one second that everything in that car would fit inside this Model Y. But 
prove me wrong, Tesla. Everything did fit with even a little extra space to spare. There's some little cubbies on the side still I can use or cram around. And then I only used about half of the little space under that sort of floor bit. There are actually two floor compartments in the back, the deep one, and then there's a, a shallower one. And I only used about half of that. There's still more space in this Tesla. If you have any questions about whether or not you're gonna be able to cram all your crap into it, trust me, I'm the king of crap these days and I got all my stuff in. So I'm impressed. All right, it's time for me to relocate the Tesla to another parking spot somewhere a little farther away from the road and pedestrians. And then I'm gonna drive up to San Francisco, drop off my Impala. Impala, you've been good. I uh, rented one of you in Alaska and another one here in the Western United States. Uh, thanks for the good times. And now it's time to move on to another lever. All right, take care. And what do I do next? I own a Tesla. <laughs> do I charge it? Do I figure out how to charge it? Where do I charge it? What's going on? Do I wait? How do I pay? Do I have to sign up? How does this work? <laughs> I'm a little confused. All right. You'll hear from me later. Bye.